It's the Andy and Dave Daily right here on the Andy O. Dave Keckley getting his morning stretch in. This is what I'm he does. sore today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. you know, we've got that. Our our friend Becky Bouchada has got that four minute workout video. Yeah. So I did one of those yesterday. I'm thinking, ah, oh, this will be a brace. It's four minutes. You really sweat, Becky Bouchada. Yeah, that's right. It is. Yeah, it's a. It, that was a intense four minutes. We'll see what I'm saying. So, I'm gonna get you in shape. Yeah, I, so. I'd be joining you on those workouts, but how do you how do you fix perfection? Uh, and, and it interfe- interferes with your Twinkie consumption. So. Well, you know, <laughs> a little of that too. So yeah, that's yeah. fine. That's okay. But, uh, hey. but you did the workout. Yes, I did. It was yeah. It was. I was shocked at how intense it was. Well, here's good news because she does fit and healthy by Becky as as well. But she's got another sh- another thing that she does. Yeah, butts by Becky. But. <laughs> Are you serious? We're going to tone your rear end up for you. <laughs> Maybe that'll be in the next batch. But, so. you know, my, yeah, my, mine's fairly toned. I mean, it's not, you know, perfect, but it's mm-hmm. it's solid. You know what I'm sick of? What? I am sick of points. Of what? Points. Points? You know, when you go like, somewhere, like, say you go to the gas station, and they're like, do you have this reward card? Oh, no. Okay. Or you go to the, like last night I was at the pharmacy, I was picking up something at Rite Aid. Do you have your plenty card with you? No. <laughs> so then they stand there and look at you like you're some kind of deadbeat, so I got to put Cindy's number in. Okay. Do, do you do any of that? No, I don't I don't like points. I, anytime they ever say, hey, would you like this card? No. No. I don't want any of your cards. It's nothing personal. I just want to buy my stuff. And leave. I'm that That's way too. All I want to do. I am. I that don't way want too. homework. I I don't want the 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 three cents off that I'm going to get, or I don't yeah. want the. I, I you know what I really don't want? I don't want some card tracking everything I buy. Yeah. You know. And, That's and, how they get you. Well, if you look at it, it let, sp- let's say Speedway. Uh huh. Let's say Speedway. Okay. You go in there, you buy your gas, you do this, and then you you, you play the point game and all that other kind of stuff. You know they're just going to try to lure you in the store to sp- to buy more with it, right? You know, I, yeah. Here's here here's a free drink, but as long as you're coming in the store, why don't you get this candy bar or that? And it's it's like, hey, I'm going to get a candy bar already. All right, I don't need the incentive. That's how and it's going to be. And I don't need the hard sell on the speedy card. Uh, do you have your speedy rewards? No, I don't. Would you like? No, I don't. You really should. No, no, <laughs> I don't. In fact, you keep it up. I'm going to go to Westco. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Stop hard selling me. I understand you can get great deals. I don't care. Yeah, I know. I know. So just stop. I just uh, thank you. Well, and and that's the thing I know, but yeah, in in, in honest to God, mm-hmm. well, I love the girl. Cindy does every one of them she can get her hands on. Every single rewards points and click the you know show us a picture of your receipt and we'll send you a nickel and and all this other kind of stuff and it's like oh. Isn't man. your stepdaughter really good at uh, getting oh, great deals God. off everything? Our my Teresa, our daughter, yeah. She uh she had a blog out for a while where she would mm-hmm. show people how to get big discounts and she she would literally go go out in in years past. She'd get oh five to seven hundred dollars worth of health health and beauty aid type products on big discounts and stuff like that yeah take them to a flea market and sell them for half price yeah I, <laughs> then i sit there and i wonder you guys wonder why the economy's going to hell because <laughs> <laughs> you don't pay for anything that's right i mean good for them you know uh, but yeah great i get deals where out you of can it. i don't want anything to do with point systems or rewards or any of that stuff thank you very nice of you to offer. Have a nice day. On an unrelated note, I and I actually had this discussion with Aaron Offsire earlier today about when I'm eventually going to shave my head, and we are getting close. I are think we really we're starting to get just it's just it's getting a little further because you you get to a point where you, you're going to have to make that decision. I'm I still think I'm probably two years away. Really? But yeah, but it's eventually going to happen. And then I'm gonna have to grow a goatee, and then we're gonna look like uh, like twins. Won't that be nice? Yes. So, Absolutely. So in the in those two years between now and then, are you gonna to continue to use the, uh, whatever it is you use on the top to get your highlights? My, my highlight, yeah, I, I get that done professionally. Oh. So <laughs> Talk I have about a lady. Pissing your money away. Hey now, stop. <laughs> you put let some me highlights on this big bald spot. Of okay, mine? let let I me pretend. <laughs> let me pretend that it's. 
Let what me bring out that aftershock this weekend. I'd love to look God. the part. <laughs> I'm going to Magoo's. Can I, can I get my <laughs> hair fixed, please? Oh, I'm in search of a 19-year-old with a fake ID. I had Perfect. some good times at, at Aftershock back in the day. <laughs> I what are those, fireballs? Cra- I drank 21 vodka cranberries at Aftershock one night. <laughs> God. Then I barfed. <laughs> oh, jeez. Do some news or something, would you? Okay, let's do it. White House officials are denouncing Uh-oh. a Washington Post report that President Trump revealed classified information about ISIS to Russia's foreign minister and Moscow's ambassador to the United States during a White House meeting last week. The newspaper cited a current and former U.S. official who claims Trump jeopardized a critical source of intelligence on the terrorist group in his conversation with Russian officials. According to the National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster, the president did not disclose any military operations that were not already publicly known. So, Mm -hmm. I don't know. There may be something there. It may be another one of these overreaches (laughs) by people trying trying to make a story. It may be a story. I don't know, but I haven't heard what the actual information is and whether or not it was actually known. So Okay. Well, f- from a distance, let me just say that this guy doesn't have a clue as to what he's doing. He thinks he's running some big private company and it just doesn't work that way. He, I think he is a narcissistic uh, he is so in love with himself that he thinks everybody he can do no is. wrong and anything he can do or say. I mean, the guy's making threats on Twitter. I think I think he takes it to another level, but anybody who's been in that office, aside from maybe Jimmy Carter, was a complete narcissist. In my lifetime, I can't think of one other than maybe Carter and maybe George W. Bush that wasn't completely full of themselves. Now, now Trump takes it to another level. I mean, that's narcissism on top of narcissism. Word. He's but, doomed. Well, but I, I still—he's still, he's he's still going to make—he's still going to make it four years, and you're nope. going to owe me fifty bucks. Okay, yep. just so you know. Oh, by the way, the um, Vegas odds are out on the uh, next uh, FBI director. Really? It looks like it's going to be Mike Rogers from Michigan. He's the—he's the nine to two favorite right wow. now, well, according to according to Las Vegas. So we'll see. The Ford Motor Company is planning deep job cuts, mainly targeting salaried employees and slashing its global workforce by 10 percent. This, according to the Wall Street Journal, the cuts are reportedly an effort to boost company profits as well as Ford's stock price. Ford's shares have lost more than a third of their value since 2014. The company has thus far declined to comment on the Mm. report. So more jobs leaving Ford. I'll let you kind of saw this coming. I mean, they, they're they only going to be able to hold on to it so long. It, I hate it's sad. It. It's it really sad, is. but it's the it's reality. Terrible. And you equate, it to, you equate it to our former industry? Yeah. You know, I the only thing I would say of our, of our former industry versus Ford was that I would hope that the CEO of Ford got a $9 million bonus before they went through and fired, oh, $100,000, dollars $30,000 a year employees. Just as long as that CEO gets the bonus, that's the key. That's the important part. Uh, some of this is just yet yeah, head scratching and head shaking. Good God. Governor Rick Snyder has ordered that the U.S. and Michigan flags that be flown at half staff today to honor fallen at Norton Shores police officer Jonathan Genka. Genka was killed last Wednesday following a crash involving his police cruiser. Uh, most flags in the area have been flown at half staff since the incident. Service. Honoring the 10-year veteran officer will be held at 11 a.m. at Prince of Peace Catholic Church in North Muskegon. I understand there's a big, it's going to be a big procession, yeah. and it's yeah, but uh, that, and people are invited to stand sir. along the, you know, from Prince of Peace out to the out to the cemetery and all that kind of stuff. So it's a, uh, it's going to be another dark day. You know? Yeah, it's a tough but one. Try and try and celebrate uh, celebrate his life too. So. Yep. Uh, what else is going on? Women and girls in the state of Michigan can now get their birth control from an app. Users of the NURX, that's N-U-R-X application, will receive a $30 credit, which is about a two-month supply of birth control. Doctors will answer patient questions online and determine the best birth control option. Experts say uh, this improved access is one of the most important ways to improve abortion rates. So, you know, I, you, know you and I, as, as, as Catholics know, you can... You only have sex for procreation, 
But uh, for those of for those who do it for you know just for the fun of it, I'm not, not going to you know, lay judgment. But not you. No, Although not, you did no. outside of marriage. Well, yes. Well, but okay. And we, that, we discussed your time in purgatory. Yeah, that's all right. I'll be I'll be looking right. down on you. But, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I'm like, hey, Dave. <laughs> Look how these cigars uh, are up here. Woo! Uh, if only I still believed in purgatory. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, sports, the Tigers were off. They host Baltimore tonight. First pitch set for 7-10. Cubs will host the Reds. It was Boston over the Washington Wizards, 115-105. to They win that series four games to three. And in insane NFL news, free agent defensive back Antonio Cromartie just had his 14th child. That's not the crazy part. No. And not just, it, now it's the sixth with his current wife. Okay. So he's got eight other ones. This is the third child he's had since his vasectomy. <laughs> he is like a superhero. So, something tells me they didn't quite snip things right, did they? They, they didn't, either didn't snip it right or his wife, maybe. Uh-oh. I'm just saying. Uh-oh. It's amazing. I had a vasectomy and I have three more kids. <laughs> maybe you're uh, – I'm not – I don't – you know, I don't want to – you're not here to point well, fingers. I'm not here to point fing- fingers. I'm not here to, to cast judgment. I'm just saying maybe. Okay. That's pretty That's pretty impressive, though. Three after a vasectomy. If well, that is true, I mean, if, if they're his. Well, wow. Wow, right? The most, yeah. Four. She, she gets some sort of award for that, shouldn't you? <laughs> or at least the vasectomy. You should get a refund on the vasectomy. You would think. Yes, that would, for, that would, that would be a good thing. For the cost of all three kids, right? Which is going to be a lot. Down, you know. Good God, think of how much money you could make. Because how one much is, is a vasectomy? Too, isn't it? <laughs> I don't even. I don't know how much a vasectomy is. But if if you just count like like a college education, how much you'd have to pay for for three kids? Yeah. I mean, it, it seems like they would be you know tossing you back a ton of ton of cash. You're digging here, aren't you? No. Yeah, you're 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 kind of, you kind of ran out of jokes, and now you're just digging. I didn't have any jokes. I was just. <laughs> Amazed by the whole thing. Dave. What? Have a great Tuesday.